Wisconsin is the only state in the U.S. where a first-time drunk driving offense is not a criminal offense, only a citation. In 2008, Mothers Against Drunk Driving rated the dairy state as one of the worst in the nation. While legislators have toughened some laws since then, Fox 6's Jeremy Ross followed one family for months and their family photo album showing little, if any, progress. Anything from burnouts, accidents. All work. Pull in and then back around. And no play. <laughs> Is not the way. Family owned. <laughs> NNS Towing does business. For over 21 years. But the pace inside this place. We were running 14 to 16 hour shifts. And it's falling. Is fast. Sometimes furry. Now hurry. Calls for service are coming in. 5166 North Lovers Lane. 10 point on location. Uh, 55 calls today so far. I head towards 76 and Grange for Greendale PD. It's been a hard day okay. uh, It's gonna be a long night. And yet another. Bent and battered, towed and tattered truck is out of commission. What happened with this one? Ronnie Cincinnati has seen it all. And in the early 90s, started to chronicle it all. Taking snapshots while on the scene of a wreck. I'm not the only one that does it. His little brother, Tony, helps out. And my nephew also takes photos. I take photos of cars that I tow. A kind of family documentation. Anything weird, unusual. Of destruction. Here's one that was unexplainable, oops. And distraction. Hit the curb, next thing you know, he was in the house. Oh, we all laugh about it. Now explain that to the insurance company. Photo by photo, what developed was a black binded book of accidents. It's a black book of, you know, what not to do, folks. A journal of mishaps, not so carefully or craftily titled. Drunk drivers non-thinkers, mishaps, accidents, and unexplainable oops. The name on the book was just basically covering everything. But page by page, what started? Kind of as a joke at the time. As it went on, it just, it's not a joke. If a picture is worth a thousand words. I've got three or four photo albums. These tell a stark story. Lost control of the car, drunk driving. The epic of an epidemic. He was ripped in half, a girl was thrown from the car. Picture by picture. And the cars literally got mutilated. Scene by scene. Got hit, flipped the vehicle over and got killed at the scene. Death. I see the stuff you don't see that goes straight to the coroner. After death. This picture actually shows the whole car split in half. Cincinnati's albums and tow lot continue to be overrun with drinking and driving crashes. Jimmy Prescott. Ten four. Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. You can have anywhere from 10 to 20 drunk drivers in a night. Greenfield's got another OWI. The main reason Ronnie's family continues to add to the albums. Left leg was below the knee, amputated. Is because of what his little brother lost. Right leg got fractured twice, broken in half, skin graft from the knee upward. Tony was hit on the job February 14th of 1992. The driver's record was clean. No parking tickets, no nothing. But his blood alcohol level was not. Seven months of therapy. It was the first drunk driving violation for the man who took Tony's leg. More than a dozen surgeries later, he mastered his new mobility. Not so much to learn how to walk, but learn how to walk with artificial leg. But the guy that was involved with that showed my brother remorse. And he told my family straight out, if he could, he would give his legs right now to my brother. I forgave him that day when he got sentenced. Forgiving, but unable to forget the problem. It's definitely gotten worse over the years. 17 to dispatch. The Cincinnati's haul the concern with them nearly every day. Drunk driver, third offense. Ronnie says he doesn't have an answer for impaired driving. You, you have to let it go. What his family has are questions. When do you say enough is enough? Plenty of pictures. Digital camera works great. And a strong work ethic. Driving it behind the tire. In a community where crashes seem to collide too often with drugs or alcohol. We're here to clean it up. We can't change it.